Now to a demand for answers after the tragedy in Virginia Beach. It has been nearly two weeks since a gunman opened fire at the municipal center, killing 12 people. As days pass, some families want to know if this could have been prevented. Center your side's Andy Fox sat down with Catherine Nixon's grieving husband. Andy, what did he share with you? Well, what he wants is an independent investigation. That's what this is about. Separate from the Virginia Beach Police and FBI criminal investigation into what is this country's worst mass shooting this year. Take my gun, put it in your purse, and go to work. And if nothing happens, nothing happens. But at least I know you're safe. The night before the mass shooting, engineer and city compliance manager Kate Nixon had a vision, but refused to take the gun to work. I got this eerie feeling we're letting this guy go, and we had to tell him that he was going to be police escorted when he got out. And I said, well, what's wrong? She said, I just got this feeling he made comments, like, and I, I think that he, may, he might want to shoot the place up. Ironically, it wouldn't be that guy she had to worry about. It would be the other guy in the office. She thought he was a very poor engineer. She thought that he was very uh, chauvinistic. Um, just an all around not a nice guy. She had bad vibes about him for a while. And at 406, she called me and she's like, Jason, I've been shot, you know, call 911. And she didn't seem to stress. She seemed like she had it, like she was in control of it. After that call, the shooter, who had resigned that morning for personal reasons, came back, shooting Kate and killing her. The city's narrative is the shooter had not been fired, was not in the process of being fired, had a satisfactory job performance. Do you buy the city's narrative? No. What do you not buy about it? Because I talk, about I talk to my wife in confidentiality, and I know about the guy, and I know a lot of things about that, and that's why an open investigation needs to happen. Wants an open investigation, and Jason's first question to be answered. What was HR doing during disciplinary actions? during your sit-down meetings, your write-ups. Jason would want analysis on the city's response to the tragedy. Just the communication process and notifying the families. Could have been a little bit more gentler, more bedside manners. And Jason says it's not just about Kate and Jason. It's about all the families. My wife was a fighter and she fought to the end. And it's my turn to fight for her now. And I'm fighting for those families that lost their lives so that no more families would have to do what Jason had to do for his three young daughters. Yesterday, Mommy was very, very hurt by a very evil man. And I said, Mommy's not coming home no more. And it, it broke my heart, you know. It's the hardest thing I ever had to do. Absolutely heartbreaking. Kate Nixon would do anything for anyone. She was the president of the Civic League. She wanted women interns in engineering to be able to integrate them into what she called the man's world of engineering. Jason and Kate would have been celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary on July 21st. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.